Hey, what's going on everybody? Thomas here, and this is Buffalo Fanatics. In this video, I'm be coming at you guys with the question, should the Buffalo Bills trade up, stay put, or trade down in the 2018 NFL Draft? Stay tuned and find out. So in Bills fan fashion, we always like to talk up the best things possible, right? I mean, we love to, you know, say, oh, let's go get the best quarterback we can. We got all this capital, which it makes sense. In theory, it makes sense. If you got a guy that you can trade up and um, get like a guy that you think is going to be the franchise quarterback, one of the best quarterbacks in the draft. I mean, this is like a stacked quarterback draft. I mean, this could be one of the best ever drafts for quarterbacks. Arguably, I mean obviously nobody's really saying that now because they're all in college But I mean who knows after like a 10 15 year career You have no idea if Darnold Rosen Mayfield Lamar Jackson Mason Rudolph Josh Allen You know, we don't know how um, those guys the careers might play out So this could be one of the best quarterback drafts um, in a long time so what's interesting here is a lot of Bills fans are talking about trading up and very few are talking about staying put and like nobody is talking about moving down, which I mean, who would? I mean, you never want to say, oh, I I'm in favor of waiting another year. Everybody wants it now. Everybody is, you know, now. I mean, growing up, my dad called me Mr. Now because everything that I wanted, I was like, now, 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 I want it now, you know, which sounds really like, a, you know, it sounds like I'm a crybaby or something, but besides the point, <laughs> um, you know, everybody wants things now. And I think the best thing to realize here is that I saw an interview at the Combine with Sal Capaccio and Brandon Bean basically, you know, said that until we find somebody else, you know, Tyrod's pretty much our guy. And that's kind of what in essence he said. Um, and he basically was praising Tyrod. Now that there could be, you know, he was a great player and trying to talk him up so other teams are like, oh, well, you know what, he could be a starter for us, you know, this year. Or otherwise, you know, he's on the ro he stays on the roster because we don't know exactly what Brandon Bean and Sean McDermott McBean is saying. We have no idea. So the thing is, we don't know what they're thinking. So they could say, well, how about we just, you know, stay put at 21 and then we trade away that 22nd pick. Nobody's saying that at all. I mean, think about it. Nobody is saying that. And that's probably the, I'm probably holding the most unpopular opinion. Um, you know, ever right now because a lot of Bills fans are going to disagree with me by saying this because they see a guy like Darnold, they see a guy like Rosen, they see a guy like Mayfield who is just a baller, who can just win, who is just a a beast at quarterback. I mean, we can all we can all agree. I think in essence, everybody will agree that you know Darnold, Rosen, and Mayfield are the are the top three guys. I think I think most people will agree with me when I say that. So when you see guys like that coming out of the draft, um, you really want to just go up and get a guy, especially if you got two firsts, two seconds, and a third. Plus, you know your first round pick, second round pick, third round pick for next year. You want to you know and use that. And then you got like the left tackle Cordy Glenn. You got Shady McCoy, who's about to be 30. You know you know you got all these moving parts that you could say, well, what can we do? What the Buffalo Bills are trying to do right now is they are trying to put together a puzzle. And when I say this, trust me, they are looking at every single angle, every single part of what their offense and what their defense could be next year, they are fitting it into the puzzle and seeing if it fits. They're trying to make sense of what players are we looking at? What players should we go after? Free agency, where should we fill holes? Draft, where should we fill holes? Trade for players, where should we trade for players? Who, what what, what player can come in for us right now and win? This is, this is what I think. I think the Buffalo Bills will end up drafting Lamar Jackson 21st overall. And I think the Buffalo Bills it will highly consider trading away that 22nd overall pick unless they get a player that they're like, I got to take them here and they can help me now. They can help me win now. And I know they're going to help me win later. That's the only way that I think they take that pick. The more the time goes on, the more I'm thinking, I doubt they're going to trade up. And I know a lot of people are saying, no, no, you're wrong. You're completely wrong. And that's fine. That's fine. Disagree with me. Tell me in the comments. What do you guys think about what I just said there? I think it's actually more likely that the Buffalo Bills stay put at 21 and trade away that 22nd pick, um, and then maybe like a second rounder this year, they trade it. I, if it was me, if I was Brandon Bean, and I could make the decision, what I would personally do is, I got some good wide receivers, I'd go into free agency, I'd probably get like another guy, another young guy, um, depending on what, who you like. I mean, there's a couple good wide receivers in this year's um, free agency market. 
However, there's also some really good wide receivers that the Buffalo Bills can target in the draft as well. So I think that the Buffalo Bills should go a wide receiver route in free agency just because there's there's a couple of good wide receivers there that could come in and I think could help us out um, immediately in the passing game. And I think that the Buffalo Bills will draft Lamar Jackson 21st overall. And I know a lot of people don't like him, but all I got to say is turn on the tape. Just turn on the tape. Yes, he does have flaws, but turn on the tape. Please, just turn on the tape. 119 touchdowns in 38 games. I mean, what more do you want? You want a playmaker? Lamar Jackson's your guy. This draft is stacked, so don't get caught up on one guy. Don't don't limit yourself to one guy. Don't say, oh, the, if the Buffalo Bills don't draft Josh Rosen, I'm going to cry. If the Buffalo Bills don't get Baker Mayfield at, at number five, I'm going to cry because they're not going to trade up. No, you know, I, I'm, I am trusting the process with Brandon Bean and Sean McDermott, no question about it. I mean, I am fully ready to see what the heck they do, and I'm excited, man. I hope you guys are excited because this gonna this this offseason and this draft, you know, we haven't had a front office like this with this mindset for a very long time. I mean, this mi the mindset is so driven and so ready to go, and you never really got that with like Doug Whaley. This is gonna be definitely a year to remember. I mean, you know, by getting into the playoffs, you know, that, that started it. That was the first step. That was the first brick, um, you know, that they that they laid down. And now they're going to come back and they're going to say, listen, we're zero and zero. No wins, no losses. It's a clean slate. Let's do everything we can right now to make sure we get double-digit wins this year, 10 wins this year, 11 wins this year, 12 wins this year. That's what I'm saying. Trust the process guys trust the process that's the main thing as long as you just have faith in McBean and you trust them they're gonna deliver man I mean they already delivered they already gave us the playoff draft vanquished done it's not a the Buffalo Bills like traded away talent this year and got less talent but draft capital and still made the playoffs you get what I'm saying here it's not all about talent the coaches they know how to coach they know how to build and lead a team which is much more important than talent. So there's three different ways to look at this. There's trading up. So there's a couple trades where we could trade up to the number two spot um, with the Giants, the number three spot with the Colts, the number four spot with the Browns. Like if they go get Kirk Cousins or they draft a quarterback overall, maybe they're like, okay, well, we'll just trade down. We'll get Buffalo's two first, two seconds, whatever they want to trade, I don't even know. Um, you can do that, you can do the Broncos. I mean, if they get Kirk Cousins in free agency, you know, we trade up to that fifth overall spot. You know, there's a couple things like that, that um, you know, other teams maybe in the top 10 that we could trade up with to go get Baker Mayfield um, or, you know, whoever we want. And, you know, the, the other way to look at it is definitely the um, the staying put. I mean, what if the Bills were to stay put? What it, would you be entirely mad if Lamar Jackson worked out for the Bills and we drafted him 21 and then we got like Maurice Hurst or De'Aaron Payne or Vita Vea? Um, depending on, I, don't know, I, I always mess up his name, but you know, depending on who they draft, we're like, you know, you fill that, you fill both holes, you get a new young um, quarterback, or maybe you get Rudolph, depending, or Josh Allen, depending if he falls. You know, I know I don't personally don't like Josh Allen, um, and I think I like Lamar Jackson over Josh Allen and over uh, Mason Rudolph, but everybody has a different opinion. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Who do you guys want to see in uh, in a Bills uniform next year? I want to know. You know, you can you can stay put in the in the draft and in all your picks. I mean, you never have to move down, and you just go draft and fill holes, and then maybe dive into free agency if you get rid of Tyrod, maybe. Um, you get rid of Cordy Glenn, maybe, you know, you cut maybe Z Lorenzo Alexander. I mean, he's like 34 years old, 35 years old, depending. I don't even remember. I think he's like 34, but you cut him and um, you save some cap space. You draft a another linebacker or you go in free agency and you get another linebacker, you know, and then there's also another way to look at it, which is trading down. I think that this is more likely to happen than trading up. I think that if they drop, I think that they'll take them 21 overall. And I think that the Buffalo Bills will trade the 22nd overall pick, you know, for, for next year's first, next year's second, maybe another player, um, you know, really trying to build, you know, for next year too. I mean, this isn't just about this year. I mean, imagine having, you know, a first rounder this year, two seconds, a third, getting a quarterback in the draft, going into free agency. Um, you know filling some holes and then next year you have two firsts again That's a really likely thing that could happen that I think a lot of fans aren't looking at So with that being said go comment down below and tell me what you guys are thinking tell me what you guys 
um, want the Bills to do? You want them to trade up? Do you want them to stay put? Do you want them to trade away a few picks? Let me know what you guys think. Um, what quarterback do you want to see in a Buffalo Bills uniform? What player do you want to see in a Buffalo Bills uniform? You know, let me know. Um, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go leave a like, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to the Buffalo Fanatics YouTube channel. And with that being said, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!